All right, this is a tour of our 2000 Dodge Ram 3500 van uh, that in its previous life was a school bus for the state of Georgia. Um, so we'll give you a little tour inside. So uh, when we originally got the bus, it had uh, 12 passenger seats in it, um, had a fiberglass uh, interior wall, and was insulated um, with, uh, with blown fiberglass. We pulled everything out, uh, stripped it down to the, uh, to the frame, uh, did uh, uh, foam board insulation, uh, mounted on all of the panels um, of the exterior, and then covered the inside with plywood. Uh, we raised the rear floor up over the wheel wells so that uh, we could fit our couch on it um, and put in a really nice tiger wood uh, hardwood floor um, for the finished look. So starting with the kitchen, um, I was a cabinet maker in a previous life. Uh, so we got a, uh, actually a desk from Ikea uh, that we cut down for butcher block. Um, this is actually a bathroom, a top mount bathroom vanity sink uh, that we use for our kitchen sink. Uh, we have our water pump hooked up uh, with a seven gallon uh, a fresh water tank and a seven gallon gray water tank underneath. Uh, we have storage cabinets up top, um, our light switches here, uh, with 120, um, uh, plug over there. Uh, and then we have a, uh, just a regular 120 mini fridge, uh, that runs off of our power setup, which I can show you in a little bit. Um, this is just some extra storage for our, uh, heater and, uh, kind of utility type stuff. Um, and then we have a drawer that pulls out here for storage. Uh, we also have a couple cabinets and extra storage spaces behind our table. Um, and I can show you the table real quick. All right, so uh, this was a table that we got also at Ikea. Um, it was originally about twice as deep as this uh, with another set of drawers on this side. Uh, we cut it in half um, and kind of refinished this edge uh, so that we could sit comfortably up here and still have access to the drawers on the other side when it's in storage. Um, it works pretty great. Uh, we keep that, uh, that wooden rod that I pulled earlier uh, mounted in the floor to prevent the drawers from sliding open and from the table from moving around on turns and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's super, super utilitarian, uh, fits really nicely in the spot and uh, very happy with it. So our uh, couch, also from Ikea, uh, converts to a, a queen size bed. Uh, this uh, foot area kind of collapses down and uh, rolls underneath the seat. Um, we also have a platform that uh, stores underneath the bus uh, that we put in the back with a roll-up crib mattress uh, for our two and a half year old daughter uh, to sleep on. So our feet will be at the end of the bed. Um, she'll be over there uh, above us and uh yeah that's it i can show you real quick how it folds down it's pretty easy this guy just slides in um this rear shades back here also lifts up uh for storage for our blankets pillows bedding that kind of stuff so uh the last and uh for me most exciting part of uh the bus is our electrical system uh, we went with a Jackery Explorer 1000. Um, super happy with it, incredibly easy to set up. 
uh, and it powers all of uh, all of our bus and any sort of devices uh, that we want to plug into it as well. Uh, we have the bar here that just uh, helps keep it in place during travel, um, but we have uh, three different uh, plugs on the Jackery. Uh, each of them are labeled for their location. This one's kitchen. We have one for the rear and actually one that's inside of the cabinet uh, behind you. Um, we have our 12 volt here that powers our lights and our fan. Um, and then we also have uh, a, a DC charger that runs off of the car's alternator. So we get about 70 watts of charging while we're driving. Um, we have an adapter uh, for installing solar panels on the roof. Uh, haven't gotten around to that part yet, but they'll come through, uh, come through our little port over here. Uh, we also have a, a 50 watt, um, excuse me, a 30 watt uh, splitter. Uh, or uh, extension cord that we can use for shore power when we're plugged in uh, at a campground. And those will be able to run our three electric uh, plugs here and then a fourth one to actually charge the Jackery while we're stationary. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's our bus. Uh, we're about 95% of the way done. Just got a couple more things to, to finish up, uh, but we're excited for our first trip.